hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha and in today's video i will show you how to create floor spotlight family in revit and i'm going to be sharing with you some tips about using custom photometric web files or the ies files in revit but before i get started i would like to let you know about my revit interior courses which i uploaded on my website if you want to learn to create renderings like this in revit you can follow the first link in the description anyway let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project which i created in my previous video so i was supposed to upload the rendering video of this project this week but while recording the video i came across this part where i needed to add the spotlight here so i decided to do a tutorial on that first and the Enscape rendering video will be uploaded very soon. Anyway, uh, let's create a new family. So go to File, New, Family. And here look for the Lighting Fixture family. Just press L. And here we have uh, the Lighting Fixture family template. If you are working in metric units, you will see metric lighting fixture or some other name. So let's open this up. And here, let's go to 3D first. You can see we got this light source here. But before doing any changes to this light source, we will create the geometry. So go to the front view. And here you can see the light source. First, let's uh, change the height of this. Select the reference line and change the height to 3 inches. Perfect. Now, to create the geometry, I'm going to be using Revolve. So, let's go to Create. Select Revolve. And let's draw the sketch for the light. Draw a line here, 2 inches. And then one inch and one inch on this side and let's cancel and use pick lines just give the offset here 0.2 inch and then pick all these lines now we need to close this so draw a line here as well as here and then use TR to trim this to trim this line as well as here now we want to create a little curve uh, on this side so use this fillet arc and click on this line and then this one and just create a curve like so now use pick lines and give the 0.2 inch offset again and pick this curve and just trim these lines tr this one as well so you can see we have created something like this now we need to create the axis line so uh, we can create the revolve select axis line and just draw from here like so and then click finish let's go to 3d so you can see we got this light here now we need to create the diffuser here so we can do that in the top view go to create select extrusion use pick lines and pick this circle click finish just ignore this warning go back to the front view and we can adjust the extrusion in this view just drag this one until here So we got our diffuser here let's see that in 3d perfect so we have created the geometry here for the light now we can add the material parameter to the to these geometries so first select this revolve now to add the material parameter you need to click on this button in the materials and finishes then here click on this new parameter let's call it metal or whatever you like just click ok ok again 
and now select this uh, diffuser or the extrusion hit tab key to select that and then repeat the same just click on this button then create new let's call it diffuser click ok ok again so we have created the material parameters now we can work on this light source so first go to the front view select this light source and click on this light source definition button and this dialog uh, box will open now here you need to select this one for the emit from shape just select this point and for the light distribution select spot click ok there you go the light source is now changed now we need to change the angle of this light source so go here family types just scroll down and here you have the angle right now it's uh, tilted 60 degrees so let's make it 90 click apply okay right now you can see it's facing this direction and we want the opposite of this so just go back to family types again and add minus here click apply okay there you go now it's facing this direction and if I go into 3d you can see it's looking exactly like the floor spotlight now let's test this load into our project and I'll just go to level 2 and place that here here maybe make sure it's not too far from the wall or not too close to the wall so around 5 inches from the wall works fine so let's give 5 inches and go to a 3d view to make the rendering to test that okay let's go to site plan and create a new camera like so now let's do a quick test rendering so for that we can just adjust the uh, the crop region we only want to render this to test the light open up the renderer and set the render settings to medium at 150 dpi and the lighting select exterior sun and artificial change the sun settings here just click on the three dots and then go to still and change the time to around 5 pm or 4 pm maybe click apply ok and render so the rendering is finished you can see we got the spotlight here but it's too dim so to increase the brightness of this we need to do some settings just close this dialog box select this light edit type okay let's quickly apply the material to this just click at the corner and create a new material rename it diffuser let's open up the asset browser go to appearance library and then glass here scroll down and select this light bulb click ok let's create a new one for the metal as well create a new material let's call it metal or we can add spotlight here now open up the asset browser again and look for a metal material for now let's uh, select this chrome polished you can choose any other material metal material you want and here we have it let's click ok and now first let's adjust the settings here just click here in the initial intensity select luminance and let's try around 5000 maybe 
the distance just leave it we will first do another test rendering click ok if you want to change the color you have the option here just click on it and you can choose whatever color you want for now i will just keep it as it is click ok and render again okay we got this a bit brighter now let's do the settings again i just want to show you how you can adjust the lights uh, for your project because the same settings which i'm doing right now maybe you need to do some other other settings for your project so i just want to show you how you can adjust the brightness of this light just increase that to 9000 maybe and increase the distance as well the distance also make the light a bit brighter click ok and click ok again right now the light source is not visible in this view so just press VG to open up the visibility graphics just scroll down here in the lighting fixture just click on this plus icon and check this light source click ok and it's now visible here now I think we need to increase this light source uh, size so just select that family edit type and here you have the option to adjust the light source symbol length so let's try 20 feet you will see the effect here as soon as I click apply click ok so it's looking too big but don't worry when you render it won't look uh, exactly like this we just wanted to increase the brightness and the length of this light so let's do the render again and you can see we got this perfect uh, floor spotlight here I think we are done with this now I will show you how you can use custom photometric web files in Revit so let's close that just double click on this family and it will open up the family editor you can see first I will just close all the unnecessary tabs now go to 3d now we need to do the changes to this light source again to use the custom photometric web files so just select that go to light source definition again and now you need to select this photometric web option you select that just here leave it on point click ok and you can see the symbol is now changed to add our custom uh, photometric web file to the to this family you can just go to family types again and here you see some changes in this dialog box now we don't have the parameter to adjust the length of the spotlight because we are going to use our own Let's scroll down you have a new option here photometric web file right now this default uh, generic file is selected just click at the corner here it will take you to the to this folder you get all these IES files along with Revit if I go back you can see that IES folder is inside this Revit library folder so now if you want to use your own like I have already downloaded some from the internet you see we got all these uh, IES files here but I don't know how these lights will look in the rendering so for that we have this image I actually downloaded this from this blog if you want you can download from there as well anyway let's open this image and here you can see it already mentioned how these lights will look in the rendering so for this tutorial let's try this one this 20 just minimize this image go back to Revit click here in the photometric web file and just go to that folder and here look for the 20 here we have it open click OK and there you go the light source symbol is now changed now let's load this family into a project but before that I want to save this family because if I load this into project it will override the other spotlight so let's save this family save as let's call it floor spotlight photometric let's click save 
now load this family into the project and I will just go back to level 2 and place a couple of these here go to architecture select component this photo metric is selected let's place around four of these here I will just quickly move this make sure it's around five inches from the wall so it's six inches we can try that as well now let's go back to the 3d view and render the scene again I will just extend this crop region a bit we have our lights here let's render so the rendering is now finished but you can see these lights uh, are not visible here at all so it means we need to do the changes to the settings you select the light go to edit type and increase the initial intensity select luminance okay let's try around 10,000 for this also and this distance uh, does not affect that much for the photometric uh, web files still if you want to brighter this part of this light you can increase the dis distance now click ok let's render again and there you go we got this cool looking light effect here uh, yeah, right now i'm doing this uh, rendering at medium settings that's why it's not that clear but when you go for the final rendering uh, you will get uh, good results now to change the color of these lights you need to select any of these then edit type so this color filter does not work with the photometric web files so to change the color of this you need to use this initial color parameter just click on it and here you have the list you can select uh, any of these if you want to create your own you can just select the custom and put the value here if you increase the value here it will become a bit lighter and to make it uh, warmer you can reduce the value here if i put 2000 and click ok if i go back here you can see it's it, it's become a bit warmer to make it a bit lighter you can just increase the value here maybe around 7000 and click ok and let's go back again you can see it's a bit lighter now so this way you can change the color of the photometric web files and for the spotlight this thing works fine anyway let's click ok and of course you can use any other uh, IES files as well so these were the tricks I wanted to share with you guys and soon I will upload the the video on rendering this project in Enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video